Butterflies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another daily vlog. How are all of you guys doing? As you can see, in a little bit of a longer intro, <laughs> that it is a cozy, rainy day here, which is crazy because yesterday was sunny, no clouds, no sign of rain or anything, and uh, that's why I know we're on God's time, not Google's time, because <laughs> Google don't know nothing. Okay, they get it wrong all the time. <laughs> um, so we just got to go with the Lord says, and he said it's going to rain today. So it's raining today. Well, right now it's a break in the rain, but it poured this morning um, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, it's a really nice, cozy day. I got the house all cozy. I got my little lights on. I got my can of going. I got a nice, like, fall vibe, fall cozy vibes in here and stuff so i'm excited for that i'm going to take it easy this morning but this rainy day is actually at a, to my advantage and a good day to do what i wanted to do today anyway which was is something indoors obviously which is i wanted to my well my pantry's already organized but i wanted to kind of clean it up a little bit go through it um what i usually do is before we have a grocery, because we have a grocery day coming up here pretty soon. Uh, um, and when I know that, I usually like to go through my fridge like I did the other day in the other video. And then I like to go through my pantry and my freezer, which we did the freezer yesterday. I didn't show that, though. We I did that off camera. Um, but I'm doing the stockpile shelf today just to go through it. And then I could put on my list whatever I need, whatever I'm missing, you know, whatever I need to refill the stockpile. If God willing, I can do that. Um, so that's what I like to do. So today I'm going to focus on that a little bit. And then... Um, I don't really have anything else to do. The house is clean. I already made my bed. Um, you know what I mean? We do have ch uh, church later on this evening, so that's what I'll be doing. Um, but later this evening. So the day's going to be kind of like a chill, kind of focus on that uh, stockpile. And then um, just go through my uh, my uh, to-do list today. Um, oh, I do have to get, because I'm making um, ground beef and homemade beans and cheese burritos today so i need to get my beans cooking on the i'm cooking in a pot my crock pot broke so i i just it, i had to throw it out it broke so i'm gonna cook them on the stove in a regular pot on low for the whole day it's early in the morning bear in mind i have a few hours before i have like hours before dinner so they will be done by then so i'm gonna go prep that i'll try to show you guys that if not you know then I'll just show you dinner later on today. <laughs> um, but yeah, my crock pot, my crock pot, <laughs> I can't even say it. 
um, sadly broke, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Like things happen and you just got to roll with it and go with it. So I'm going to put them in a pot. I'm going to do it old school like my mom and my grandma used to do <laughs> and put them in a pot on the stove on low for a few hours while on like medium low, medium high, I should say, I think. Yeah. Low to medium high, I'm going to say. <laughs> um, and they can cook for a few hours and they will be done. Don't worry, it doesn't burn the pot or anything like that. You know, pots are made to be cooked in. So, <laughs> they'll be okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've got going on. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this vlog. Let's get this day started and get these things done. And um, just get ready to take on this day, you guys. It's such a nice, cozy day. I am just i'm in a i'm oh look at this the cardigan you guys that i was telling you guys the other day usually you guys see me in that cali sweater <laughs> but today i was like i'm gonna rock my fall <coughs> my fall sweater and sorry it's a little lot outside it's early morning traffic people drive like almost like a one like one of the main streets in my area there's like there's the main street like it's weird because it's like my street a main street and then a few blocks down there's another main street it's it's yeah so but my streets are one of the main streets so there's always cars flowing down here they get use the street to get to the freeways so i'm so sorry <laughs> if it's loud and then i like to film right here in front of the window close to the front you know up here because well, obviously because there's a lot of good lighting especially like on today it's a gloomier day i still have that lighting and yeah i know i got glare right here but um yeah so just bear with me anyways so let's get this day started because yeah, so we're going to grab, I'm going to gradually work my way into doing that stockpile shelf. It doesn't really need a whole lot because there's already a lot, like, of food missing. I'm going to show you how much because I wasn't, we were, we're on, like, a no-buy. I'm on, a, like, kind of like a pantry challenge, and I'm going to show you for real, for real, how low we got right now that I wanted to try to use up anything on there to kind of restock a little so that everything in the back can get used and nothing will go expired and then I could just refill it you know what I mean so that's my challenge right now and I'm doing pretty good we pretty much used almost everything um so yeah let's get this day started and I'll show you what I'm doing okay butterfly so I filled my pot up halfway with water and then I rinsed my beans and I already got them in the water and um, <clears throat> I'm going to let them, I'm going to add some ingredients right now. I'm going to show you what I'm going to add to them. But I got this going already. I want this to start getting a little warm, you know, get the water hot. Well, I already, the water's already hot. I just added my beans to it. Okay. And then to add a half of onion, a whole chile. This is one that's close to going bad, but it's not bad. Um, so I want to use it right away. It's okay. It's still usable. And then two cloves of garlic. And then I've already got salt in the water. And if I need more water, I have this container to fill up more water and add water. So check your water if you're going to do it like this from time to time. Even in a crock pot, you want to check your water as well. And I added four of these because I don't need that much beans, just mean heavy. So, and this goes a long way, trust me, for these. This is about one cup. Can you see one cup? So, four of these will do. So, you just add your water, some salt, let that boil up a little bit. Add four cups of, the, just four cups, or however many cups you think it's going to feed your family. Just remember, beans expand, they grow, they get a little bigger, and you don't want to over flood your pot. That's why it looks like I don't have that much. <laughs> um, and then you just add whatever you want, like I'm adding the onion the chile and the two garlic cloves i could add more of this stuff but i only add this this is just for flavoring because uh, you mainly want the beans you don't have to eat this at all you will get it occasionally when you're serving and it depends on whoever wants it they could just eat it and it's no problem it's perfectly fine to eat it gives it a lot of flavor it's super delicious so yeah guys that's what i'm preparing for this morning for later on dinner. I wanted to prepare this first before I got started with the other things that I need to do. Should look just like this. This is what your beans should look like. 
in the pot, even in a crock pot if you want to make them in there. And then I'm just going to cover them, put them on medium high, and let them go. And then just check them probably every hour. Come in here and check on them or however, or you could check them however often you feel like checking it. So that's that, guys. Let's move on to the next task. That, my friends, is how I cook beans on the stove. <laughs> I'm going to cover them really quickly and then lower the flame and then just let it go. I had to take off that cardigan because, girl, it's making me hot. <laughs> um, yeah, and I do have dishes to do, but I'll do those later. Um, but yeah, guys, that is what I needed to pr prep this morning. What I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to go finish my cafecito and I'm just going to relax for a little bit and then we're going to come and get started on that um, pinch, uh stockpile because <coughs> I need to do that. And then off camera, I'm going to do dishes. But yeah, you guys, productive day already. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got to do some editing too. I got to edit. I don't think, well, by the time you see this video, it'll be up, but at this point, I haven't edited my last video, but the last video you've probably already seen because <laughs> it'll be up before I even upload this. So, anyways, I gotta go do that, though, so I'll probably go do that, and then just put on some TV and relax for a little bit, maybe watch one movie, and then come and do this pantry because I got a long day. I got a... Uh, I got because I woke up super duper early today. I have a lot of hours to take my time on a lot of things today So I'm super happy for that. I wanted to enjoy the day a little bit today Take a breather take you know enjoy it, but get these two things done Oh, I didn't even show you guys either. I kind of rearranged and organized uh, like I kind of cleaned up and organized and rearranged and decluttered my spice cabinet I didn't show you that because I um I did that off camera <clears throat> the other day when I was doing my, I was in here cooking. I had just got done with the fridge. Well, no, I got done with the fridge and then I went and did that. And then, yeah. Okay. So let me show you the real quick. Came out really nice. The other side of my, dip, my sink, I don't want to show over here because it's a good, oh, whatever. It's real. Some dishes. <laughs> but on this side of the, um, I'm going to do them in a little bit, so. They'll get done. <laughs> um, but there's this side of the countertop, and up here is the shelf. And in here, if you don't know, it's my spice cabinet. And I cleaned it up. I organized it, decluttered it. I just have to kind of re, uh, like, kind of situate that. It's a little messy. <laughs> Um, but in here, everything is good. Everything's up to date. And I, I also write down on my list, too, what I need spice-wise as well. So that's why I did this as well, because I need it, too. So, yeah, it looks good. Later on, I hope to um, probably relocate these. But for now, this is good. You know, I keep random cups up there <laughs> and nothing on the top. But I have plenty of room here to put whatever I want. I'm just not a person that clutters my cabinets because I have the space. I only keep what I need in there. And a lot of those are like memorabilia given to us. You know, um, I got my my uh, protein shakers. My, um, I forgot what they call those. Yeah, the protein shakers in there. I just store that up there. But um, yeah, guys, that is the cabinet. It looks really good. Got our spices in there. I have more on the stockpile that are not open yet. So I don't put them in here until they're open. The open ones go in here. And then I know I can pull from these and use those before I use the other ones. So looks good. Hey guys, that is that. Um, I really am glad that I did that. I'm start I know it's fall time and I want to do the fall things, but I did too want to take this time before Christmas came to kind of situate the areas that make it look unsituated and cluttered and just messy you know before i switch to christmas decor because i really want to just enjoy it and not do a whole lot of cleaning and a whole lot of organizing uh just for the holiday season and then after i'll get back to all that kind of stuff you guys know me i love to i love to organize <laughs> i love to keep things clean but i love to organize my home i love to decorate it i especially i don't know i've been in the kitchen a lot lately but not really to cook as much, you know, I'm cooking, of course, dinner and sometimes lunch, you know, but not really, you know, sometimes breakfast, you know, not, not, I'm not just in general, I'm not in here a whole lot to cook. I'm in here mainly to get it situated because I feel like my kitchen, I lag on it a lot. 
I like just like my bathroom. Um, I do that. Well, my bathroom's always clean. I try to I try to always keep it clean. I'm not perfect, you know. I don't. Everybody has messy areas. Everybody's gonna have a messy area. <laughs> you know what I mean? I try to keep it clean all the time though, because you know that area gets the most dirtiest with you know the toilet, the trash, whatever, the sink. You know what I mean? So I try to keep it clean, you know, all the time. So I don't have to go in there as much because that's my least favorite area to clean. I think that's everybody's least favorite area to clean is the, the bathroom. Um, so, but my kitchen, I spend a lot of time in here just to come in here and organize. And, you know, I just like being in this kitchen. I, I just, I don't know. Like, it's not for just the food. It's just, I don't know. I don't know anybody who likes being in the kitchen as much as I do. Just, like for comfort wise because like I've made it so cozy in here you know what I mean and I plan and hope to make like my laundry room as cozy and make my um bathroom as cozy I started making my room a little bit cozy I actually did a lot of stuff in there that's not I didn't paint or anything or buy anything crazy for it everything's the same I just decluttered a lot and really cleaned it and moved some stuff around so it looks really good, but I'm not going to show you my room until I get it exactly where I want it. I, like I said, I'm not perfect, but that's an air private area that I kind of just don't want to film all the time. Just like the girls in the room, I don't want to, you know, film their private area all the time either. So, anyways, enough talking. <laughs> I'm going to go do what I said, and I'll chat with you guys later. Loud outside, but can I just take a moment to show you how cozy my house looks right now you guys oh ignore the turtle tank i gotta clean it out <laughs> um but yes guys look at how cozy it is near my front door open it's a lot brighter than it looks on camera wait it's a lot a lot dimmer it looks brighter on camera but in off camera like it's a little bit more um how do you say it's a little bit more gloomier but the living room looks so cozy. I have like a little fall vibe going right here. My little candle. My cafecito. Girl. This is truly a blessing. <laughs> like, thank you, Lord, for this moment alone. Not, not gloating about how or what I have or, you know, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Um, but just taking a moment to thank God for just everything, you know what I mean? For just being able to do this, you know what I mean? And just, I don't know, I just have, I just sit here sometimes and think about that. Um, you know what I mean? You always have to thank God and just, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not about my stuff, you know what I mean? But, you know, whatever, it breaks, it breaks, it goes, whatever, you know what I mean? But it's just nice to be able to have, like, a cozy space of your own. This area is cozy, too. I just have my fans, and I don't want to show this area because I'm not perfect. I have my fans and whatever, you know. I still got to take that stuff down. I haven't done it yet. Oh, look, it, you can see how much gloomier it is outside when I face the camera this way. See, it's not as bright. It's gloomy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys. So always just take a, just always remember to try to take a moment and just thank God for everything, you know what I mean? And just give him the glory for just, just everything. Look at how beautiful this is. All right, I'm going to relax and enjoy this. I'm probably going to change this though and put a movie on <clears throat> for a minute while I drink the rest of my cafecito. Um, but then I might just sit here in the peace and quiet. This uh, plays uh, fall jazz, but I don't have it on because uh, like up turned up because I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but yeah, it plays some real pretty music and stuff. But look how pretty that! Oh, hello, too close. Sorry, a little too close. <laughs> I feel like on um, uh, what is that movie? Uh, Aladdin. I'm like, come, come a little close, a little bit closer. Oh, that's too close. <laughs> a little too close. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that part in Aladdin, the cartoon Aladdin. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Cozy, guys. Okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Look who it is. The pups are in for the day. Because it's a rainy day, huh? <laughs> you so excited? Are you so excited? She got a little dirt on her face. I don't know what the heck. And then itchy over there. <laughs> 
They got so excited. They weren't in here earlier. I had them in the kennel. They were actually sleeping. I went in there to go check on them and see if they wanted to come inside. I mean, come like, because we put their kennel in the laundry room. Um, and I wanted to, they, I wanted to go in there and uh, see if uh, they uh, wanted to come in earlier. And they were both knocked out. So I kind of just snuck back out and let them sleep. That's why she has so much energy. Are you okay? Let's put this light on real quick. Are you okay? Look at this guy. Hey! You, mister. Oh, doggy yoga. Doggy yoga. Wanna say good morning? You say good morning? Well, from us to them, good morning. <laughs> yeah, and little Oliver is running around here somewhere. I'm telling you, he's, he's hiding around here somewhere. Hey, come here. Get out of there. Snoopy lady likes to snoop and stuff. Gotcha. Mama, okay, okay. <laughs> she lit up too much. <laughs> I just gotta watch him. I took him out to go use the restroom because there's a break in the rain. But I have to watch him because I don't want him to like lift his leg. That's the only problem with this one. But other than that, he does pretty good. Um, yeah, Oliver's running around here somewhere. Um, and my other cat, she actually 24 hour like, what do you call them? Um, uh. What do you what do you call those people that just like to stay I mean I don't call people names but like what do you what do you how do you say it? like oh my gosh the, a hermit yeah she's like 24 hour hermit she stays like like and like she just hides okay she hides a lot she doesn't like to be out she doesn't like company she's older she's just one of those cats but she's inside she's they're doing good so now all the animals are in here. These are the only ones that are really active with us a lot of the time. Oliver's doing his own thing. I gave him his toy and he took off with it. <laughs> I was trying to get it on camera, but he took off. Hello, are you looking? At this one looked for Oliver. He better not be under the couch. <laughs> Probably don't need the couch, but um, yeah, this one, she loves Oliver. She looks for him. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to spend time with them. I just wanted to show you them. He's over there being a little snooper. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here, boy. Come here. He's being snoopy. And he's not going hungry. He just likes to get into everything. He had already had his breakfast. Tell him you had breakfast. You had breakfast, huh, Mama? Did you have your breakfast? <laughs> Look at him. Hey, come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spend time with these pups. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. These two. Who's out there? Who are you barking at? <clears throat> Who are you barking at? This one. Oh, the lighting is uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> Who's out there, sir? You're not that kid that's out there walking by. But leave him alone. He's just going for a walk. He's going to school. What are you? What the? What was that? <laughs> Look at this guy. He forever sits by the door. Whoa, little too close again, huh? <laughs> My little protectors. <laughs> Dishes are all nice and done. They're all tidy. They're all right there. I'll put them away in a little bit and then clean up that table right there. I need to knock those out of the way because I was getting hungry and I don't want to pile up dishes for um, dinner as well. And uh, my father-in-law actually brought me a crock pot, you guys. So I transferred the beans into here. I just kind of... Um, uh, my father-in-law and mother-in-law let me borrow this, so I'm so appreciative of them. Oh, shoot, hold on. This is hot. Okay. So, I added in, um, well, I didn't add anything, and I just transferred everything, and then I had to take out some of the water, but I'm storing it to the side in case I need to fill, because the water will start to, uh, I think, um, uh, what do they call it? Absorb or... 
you'll start to see the beans rise and the water will evaporate. That's what I mean, evaporate. So, um, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, going to save some of this, uh, water so I can refill and it's still usable. I'm going to cover it with a lid, leave it to the side and then throw it in there as I go. But I'm going to cover this back up because she needs to stay covered and I'll show you them later on when they're finished. So everything done in here looks really good. I got to jump start on this next. I'm going to go do the stockpile, but I'm going to take a breather and then I'll get that started guys. Hey butterflies, I wanted to show you, look at how dark it got. This big old cloud right here looks like it's about to pour in a little while. Dried up though, but crazy dark cloud. I'm loving this weather, you guys, though. it's so cozy, like, look how cozy it is out here. Oh, so nice. It's so quiet right now. It was really uh, loud earlier, and none of my neighbors are home. It's crazy. Like, every single... This neighbor, the neighbor with that neighbor, that neighbor, all my neighbors, like everybody is gone. Not a neighbor around. <laughs> so it's crazy. It's like my whole block is quiet. And then later on in the evening, it's going to get like a lot like noisy. <laughs> crazy. But look at how nice it is out here, you guys. A little breeze. Oh, I'm loving it. I just love it, love it. <laughs> we haven't had weather like this in a little while, so. Look at that bird, you see him flying in? Oh, look at him. How peaceful. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I was like. <laughs> um, it's been a little while since you've seen me. You haven't seen me since like early this morning. I actually, after I finished all that stuff I was showing you guys, I actually uh, laid on the couch and put on Romeo and Michelle's High School Reuni Reunion. I love that movie, it's funny. And um, I fell asleep for like 20 minutes. I dozed off during the movie, and then I got up and I continued watching it. Um, the pups are outside getting some air right now and using the bathroom, they're doing the business. They were playing um, on the side of the house a little while ago. I could see them from the window and I was like, what are you guys doing? They're playing with each other. They were playing in the house early. I think I got a little clip of them like rolling around with each other, like play fighting, you know. What are you guys doing? <laughs> they were being silly. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I let them go outside and get some air and stuff like that. Um, But I'm going to bring them back in here though in a little while because I want them to hang out with me. Plus, I don't know if that dark cloud is going to start pouring down rain in a little while. And I don't want them outside, of course. Nobody wants their animal outside in that freezing rain, you know what I mean? So I'll bring them back in here if that happens. But they need a little bit of air. They need it to go and use the restroom and stuff like that. So put them outside. So right now, I'm going to make me a little bit of lunch because I haven't really ate. And earlier, I know I said I was going to make something to eat. But I actually did not get around to doing it. I kind of just, I don't know. Today's kind of like... A little bit of a lazy day for me today just kind of you know hanging out that looks a lot better than having it the way I had it you guys anyways um yeah so now that I kind of had like a little bit of a lazy kind of chill morning really I want to want to say lazy because I actually did do some dishes put my food to cook which that is cooking really good I was checking on it Girl, it's going to be so good. <laughs> and um, I think I did the dishes. I kind of tidied up the kitchen and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So, I was like, I deserve a little bit of a relaxed day. I've been doing a lot the last few days. You know what I mean? Um, but now, I got my energy. So, we're going to go work on that stockpile, like I said. So, yeah, it's not very much. It's not going to take me very long to do, but I just want to go through it. I, I don't know. When you look at it, because I'm going to show you guys it, obviously, right now, um, after I go grab, because I'm going to grab some lunch, and then I'm going to go work on that. But, like, when you look at it, you're like, it doesn't even look like it needs, like, it, it don't need you to do anything, you know what I mean? But, sorry, I thought somebody was here. <laughs> um... But it needs a little bit of work. I need to fix it. I need to rearrange it. I need to kind of throw away some more things. So, yeah. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I hope you like hanging out with me so far. I know. I, I know. I'm just... You know what? I haven't even edited my vlog yet. I mean, it's up. It's up by the time you watch this vlog. 
but right now and this time <laughs> I haven't even edited and posted it yet I'm taking my time with it guys I was gonna do another reel today but I think I'm gonna take a break of that for today I told you I kind of want to just have a little bit of a layback cozy relaxed movie day you know I wish you know hubby were home to do this with me but he's not home right now so yeah <laughs> So, anyways, let me go make my lunch, and then I will, we'll get started on that. <laughs> I know, I'm like, you're probably like, girl, you're getting stuck today. Usually, I'm like, ah, you know, but I actually had that a half a cup of coffee uh, soup today. I didn't have my usual, like, big cup and then iced coffee. I'm kind of taking it easy today, because I've been, um, I've been feeling like an anxiety attack is going to come on. And that usually happens, like I feel, like, when I feel like that anxiousness, I kind of just take a step back from the caffeine and I try to get a little bit more rest. And then once those two are like faded away, then I feel better than I could come back to myself. Um, obviously with a lot of prayer too and, you know, just praying, you know, that I can get through it and stuff, you know. Um, I get through it, so, <laughs> um, which I'm feeling okay, uh, you know, I was just getting a little anxious this morning, and I was like, you know what, I go, I better just have a half a cup, just to wake my booty up and get myself going, <laughs> but then after that, no second cup, so I'm good for the day, I have been drinking a lot of water today, I've been getting my water in, I've been getting my water in a lot lately, I was thinking about hopping onto the treadmill this evening, so maybe I'll do that, um, cause it's a nice day and then take a little shower later cause I don't have any cleaning really to do. I'm done with my cleaning for the day with just the dishes. Um, and then there's stuff out, but it's not really a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not worried about it. So we'll see about that. So usually when I work out and I kind of take my mind off of a lot of stuff too, like that kind of helps, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got my water. Oh shoot. I left my creamer out. I didn't even have my creamer out. That's not that's not good. <laughs> so I gotta put that away. All right, lunch, and then I will talk to you guys in a bit when we get started on the stockpile. Okay, butterflies. Here's the thing. Okay, I was looking at my stockpile shelf, and I don't think it needs any work done on it. I think it's okay where it's at. Everything's good. I checked it not too long ago, so I think that I think I just thought I needed to because the space in front of it was all like messy but it got cleaned up yesterday so i think that's why i thought it needed some tlc but actually it's pretty good i'll show it to you in just a minute but i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm not going to work on it so but it, it's it's where it needs to be i'll show it to you guys so and then we'll just see what else we get into i know i have a few little things to do i gotta chain uh prep do the coffee making stuff i gotta make tomorrow's uh to-do list I have some stuff to put away. I got to finish doing dinner. And I think I'm just going to take it easy the rest of the day. It's really nice. It's still really cloudy. I look pretty crazy. I was on a phone call. And then I was watching. Um, don't laugh at me. Okay. <laughs> um, I was all about that 90s pop, you know, pop singer stuff back in the days. And I used to love the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> they were my they were my group you know like that I just like to listen to their music There's a lot of good music you know but you know now it's like I don't know about that I listen to a lot of worship music I listen to more worship music than any kind of music well I don't really listen to any other music besides worship music um I don't really listen to any music so I I do listen when I do listen to music it's worship music though but I don't really listen to any like pop you know all that kind of stuff I don't listen to all that anymore um um but I did like the Spice Girl I was watching the Spice Girl the Spice World movie like that was just like a child I think <laughs> was Spice World <laughs> that was my my thing you know being a kid teenager with the little posters that was me okay I have the dolls I still have those dolls maybe one day I'll get the courage to show you guys those dolls but if you guys want to see those dolls, let me know in the comments. But I still have all the set of all five of them, of the Spice Girl dolls, when they were like, you know, it was a trend or whatever. And I still have a lot of like, um, their, their memorabilia stuff too. But, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> it was just funny because I was watching that movie. I just felt like watching it. Like, I like to watch, like, the 90s, like, mo some of the 80s and 90s movies. Like, the cleaner ones, though, um, that were just, like, you know, just remind me of my childhood of, like, you know, watching those, like, some 80s and 90s movies, you know what I mean? So, but that's why I was watching that. <laughs> just like uh, I was watching uh, Romy and Michelle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was watching that movie. I didn't even finish it though because I got up to do something. But <sighs> yeah, you guys, so let's just see what else we get into for the day. I still haven't edited, so I'll probably edit real quick uh, that last video. And then I will probably get back to what I need to do, but... You might not see me back here till probably close to dinner time, though, because to be honest with you, um, when I'm not really doing, doing anything, it's just kind of a blah day, and I don't like to be talking so much that I bore you, okay? I want to be showing you something, and since today I'm not making that much, you know, I'm not doing coffee either, it's just a relaxed day, so I hope that you guys do enjoy a little bit more of a relaxed, just me <laughs> video, and not without all the all the chaos of other things going on, you know what I mean? Sometimes, us YouTubers, we just have a a do-nothing day, you know what I mean? A do-nothing day, and, you know, we just, we we live a normal life, you know? And, you know, some days you just don't have those days, you know? What we could do, though, is go outside and enjoy this uh, cool weather together. Maybe I'll make some tea, and we can go sit out there, and I'll talk to you for a little bit. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, okay, I have a bird feeder out in the front right here, and I haven't got birds on that bird feeder in, like, like all year, okay? And I was standing here, and I was prepping the camera, and I was putting my phone to charge and everything, and I look up, and there's three birds on that bird feeder. There's no bird feed. There's no bird food in there. And I was like, oh, there's birds right now? I don't know. I thought the birds kind of hibernate for, like, fall. Well, not real. Okay, not or like Okay, maybe... Like those little birds, <laughs> not the bigger birds, because there is other birds, you know. But those little birds, and I haven't seen them in a while. Maybe they just didn't come because there's no birds. You know, I gotta probably find. Some. I think I have some though. Maybe I'll have hubby refill it today, and then we can see the little birdies um, uh, for the rest of this fall, which that'd be really nice to see. But yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I was excited because I love to look out my window and see the birds. <laughs> and, you know, any a little animal in the yard and stuff. But yeah. Oh, and uh, I don't know if this is like a fun fact, but uh, I almost got a new cat the other day. <laughs> um, we were at the, I think the, where were we at? I think we were at the store and I seen a cat, Chunky, it was a bigger cat chunky cat girl cat she was so friendly and she was like there was nobody around well i mean it wasn't like a little shopping center so it was just you know like nobody was like her owner she was in the shopping center and i was like oh, she's gonna get hit like you know what i mean like um i don't want her to get run over i wanted to go to her home i was telling um hubby i was like let me get her and at least maybe take her to one of the neighborhoods where we live I mean, that's, I don't want to just go, like, dump her off, but if I put her in a neighborhood, maybe somebody could adopt her, but then I was like, okay, that's not right to do, so I kind of just left her, uh, because she kind of gravitated to one of the neighborhoods that were nearby, so I thought, you know what, if I take her, I'm taking somebody's cat, because she's going that way, so I was like, she's somebody's cat, so I just kind of, like, left her there and let her go back home, so if she was going back home, I pray she went back home, because... She was such a beautiful cat. I should have filmed her, but I think I was done filming at that point. I don't remember. Or I think I just forgot. But, yeah, I was like, I pray that she went back to her home, though, and that, you know, she was safe because it was a busy area she was in, and it's unsafe for the animals to be out there. Like, And I wasn't just going to go dump her off in the neighborhood, but if I put her in a neighborhood where there's a lot of houses, somebody will, she'll go to somebody's house, and somebody could adopt her. I don't want to take her to the pound over here right now because um, our pound is if they don't get rid of some of the animals, they terminate them. Uh, you know, they kill them. So it's like she has a better chance of going in the neighborhood and somebody picking her up than going in there and they kill her. You know what I mean? I did not want that to happen. So, and if that was the case, I would have just brought her home and kept her. But I can't get another cat. I already have Oliver and Mary Bear. Um, and then we have the two dogs. So... You know, I, like, 
not to sound bad, but if I was my aunt, I probably would have had like 50 cats. Let me tell you, I love cats. <laughs> um, I love all animals, but I love cats. <laughs> but, um, you know, we can't, I can't really take care of a whole lot of cats, you know, but, um, you know, like, so, but it, it just gets to my heart. Like I really want to keep them, you know, or hang on to her. And I could have found somebody that, you know, would have wanted her, but I don't have the resources to hang on to her right now. So I just, I was just praying she just went back into the neighborhood, <laughs> but she was a cute cat. I almost had one. Long story short, I almost had another cat. Didn't happen. I pray she went home. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking. This is what I didn't want to do in this vlog, but I wanted to tell you that because I just wanted to tell you that little story. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I will chat with you a little later and I'll let you know what I'm up to. <laughs> Okay, butterflies, so before I get dinner started here, like, well, not dinner, dinner, but I mean, like, the more preparation, this is the panch, the stockpile. It's a little in order, but it's very, almost completely empty. I told you I'm on a, uh, no buy, uh, stockpile and pantry challenge, so... I will be needing some stuff here soon, so that's why I said I don't really need to do very much to it. I just need to add a little bit of thing... Oh, quite a bit of things to it <laughs> um but this is what it is for right now this is the lowest we've been in a while and i gotta fix these bags <laughs> but um yeah guys i just wanted to show you really quickly i probably will just tomorrow go through that section but the rest of it it's probably just gonna stay and i'm just gonna go through with what i can i gotta just remove that too as well but yeah guys that's it there's a few back there a few cans uh, box and, um, you know, just boxed items and stuff, soups and noodles and spices and, uh, you know, my big old pickle jar, gotta have my pickles, girl, and sauces and stuff, so, oh, and up here is like a bunch of, like, sweet stuff, and then I, I can store other stuff here, but, yep, I just wanted to show you guys that, now I'm going to go start continuing to, uh, prep dinner. Okay, butterfly, so I'm gonna prep this dinner and get it started a little bit. Um, hope you will be getting home soon, so I'm gonna, whew, got a little bit of that dust in my eye. What is this string from this curtain? I need to change these curtains out right here. They're kind of getting a little messed up. It'll be later, I will, but I'm going to fry up, not fry up, but I'm going to cook some ground beef, and I'm going to put a little bit of this, uh, taco seasoning in there, the original taco seasoning. And I'm going to get it mixed up and stuff like that. I'm going to cook it really good. And then I'm going to get some of the beans that I made. And I'm going to smash them in another pot. And then I'm going to shred up some cheese. And I'm going to make bean and cheese and ground beef burritos. Super yummy. <laughs> Super yummy. Um, the beans are done. So I'm going to put them on low. I would actually, I'm going to put them on keep warm. Not on low because... In all honesty, they're completely done, and I don't want them to, on warm, they still will cook. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, just prepping dinner. The rest of this uh, vlog is just going to be me kind of prepping dinner. Uh, I put away most of the dishes. I have a little bit left to do. And then, um, yeah, I was about to change the coffee and everything. Let me get, hold on, let me get this ground beef inside of the, um, to cook right now, guys, because... I need to get, whew, I need to get cooking this ground beef, <laughs> but it's going to be so good, so yummy, yummy, yummy burritos, hubby likes these, I usually, um, would like, put like, uh, lettuce and cheese and sour cream and tomatoes in it, but I don't have any tomatoes right now, and I don't have lettuce and sour cream, <laughs> so, it's just going to be um, a bean and cheese, bean and cheese and meat burrito. <laughs> so, it's going to be yummy though. It's going to work out good. It's going to taste yummy. It's going to be almost the same thing I, I used to call my combination burritos. Let me throw these away, you guys. Okay, and then I have to, um, there was something I needed to do. Oh yeah, I need to prepare my pot for, to put the beans in. Where's my pot? Where's that pot at? 
Oh, you know what? It's on the, it's in the living room. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna get this going then, and then I'll show you dinner when it's all done. I'm just gonna shut up cheese and stuff like that, get it prepared and stuff. Um, so yeah guys, hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. After I'm done getting this portion done, um, I think I'm probably gonna, um, hang out with Hubby when he gets here, and then maybe I'll go sit outside for a little bit this evening. Um, uh, but we'll see though, because I think I'm gonna turn in a little early tonight, so, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here's the burrito, I'm gonna fold it up. I only want a bean and cheese. I put bean cheese and the ground beef. Let me show you real quick what the ground beef will look like. Give me a second, I'm gonna pull the thing over here though. But this is what the ground beef will look like. It, it tastes better than it looks, guys. <laughs> Trust me. But I didn't want any ground beef right now. I'll probably get it maybe on the next one. But right now, I just wanted a plain bean and cheese burrito. Hubby already tried some. And he loved it, guys. So I'm going to eat dinner with him. And then I'll pop back on here a little bit later to talk to you. I'm going to come put air in our tire. and But look at that dark cloud right there. You see that dark cloud? Look at that dark cloud right there. It's going to come down hard in a little while. But you can see that crazy dark cloud coming. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, camera looks a lot lighter, but trust me, girl. Oh, it's a lot darker. All the dogs are barking it up. <laughs> but I didn't finish showing you. Look at this cloud. It's making its way over here. I wonder if it's going to pour anymore. Do you think it's going to pour anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I told you, like... Google didn't get no forecast, so <laughs> we're going on with God thinks. <laughs> He's going to make it rain or not, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that cloud. It's coming heavy. It's darker off camera than it is on camera, guys. Like, especially that portion over there. And maybe like that portion is really, really dark. But, um, alright. I'll talk to you when I get inside. <laughs> 